Right, good morning everyone. Um, welcome to the Robert Owen Museum. My name is Rex Shaler and I am the chairman <coughs> of the museum. Um, Robert Owen was born on the 14th of May in 1771. His legacy and for what he's been doing for the world at large has been very, very lasting and improved for the last 250 years. That is some legacy. Um, Robert Owen, um, his main aim in life was to improve working conditions, improve the, uh, the lives of the children, the moms and dads, the working conditions and their well-being. He enjoyed a very, very open, free life while he was here in Newtown and he felt that everybody else should be treated the same way. For that I think we have a lot of thanks. The legacy of Robert Owen has actually reverberated right through the world, Japan, particularly in America, and various other countries as well, even Russia. I think that's a legacy worth recording. The speakers we have today um, will be effectively painting a, a wider picture of Robert Owen. His basic life, his working life, as well as his personal life. And then another speaker will be on talking about the education side. So I think we'll be able to fill in quite a few gaps uh, for people that have only just met Robert Owen. So first of all, I would like to introduce um, Yellow Williams. Um, yet another local man, of course, and he's given uh, time for us from his spring wash duties. So here we are then, uh, Yellow, if you'd like to come and join us. Thank you very much, Rex. Diolch am awr iawn, diolch o galon i chi, a mae e'n bleser pyr cael bod yma i ddathlu y person sydd heb os nac o'n i bai mab en wok ar dre newydd a dyn sydd wedi cael dylanwad ar draws y byd i gyd. It's a great pleasure and an honour to be invited here to celebrate the life of the person who is without a shadow of a doubt Newtown's most famous son and a man who's had a profound influence right across the world. Now I'm not going to talk about too much about his work, that will come later. I'm, I want to talk about his association, his close association with the natural world ar around him, especially here in Newtown. We know that um, as a young lad growing up, he was the son of a, of a saddler and an ironmonger, that he was a bookworm, he was a real bookworm, he loved his books, he spent a lot of time out and about locally here, walking the river, and you get some idea of what he would have seen and heard if you walk the River Severn here in Newtown today, but of course Back then, it would have been even richer in all kinds of wildlife, and he really appreciated his time there, as we will see later on in his life. He was uh, an excellent businessman, he was a brilliant engineer, and he, later on in life, found himself up in New Lanark, um, near Glasgow, working in the mills there. And this is where what he'd learnt in the Newtown area really came to the fore because the working conditions in those days were dreadful. They, they really were bad. If you worked in those mills, it was noisy, it was dark, there were so many injuries, no compensation, nothing like that at all. And Robert Owen looked at this and thought, but you know what, what I really want is I want fair play for these workers because he was a firm believer that if you had a happy workforce, then the work that they produced would be of a better quality. And that's exactly what he did. He insisted that the workers had time off to go walk the local countryside, to appreciate the wildlife that they had around us, so that at least for one day, they were able to step away from these noisy mills. He also went further. He insisted that the children had a school education and that was revolutionary in those days. And we know from, from paintings and from writings that in those schools he insisted that they were taught about wildlife as well. And not just 
UK wildlife, the wildlife they would have seen around them, but exotic wildlife, things like elephants and giraffes and ostriches, things that he knew that those children and the parents would never see. But at least they knew that these creatures, these amazing animals were out there. And by doing that, he improved the working conditions for people and that has filtered down to our lives today so we owe him so much and it's difficult for us now to even imagine what it would be like 150 years ago and more to work in these mills but maybe maybe we've had a small taste of it recently because we've just gone through or just coming out the other end of the worst pandemic for over a hundred years and many of us have been locked in for long periods and it's not easy it really is not easy at all and i think now more than ever we appreciate as he did being able to step outside even if it was only for half an hour or an hour and enjoy the natural world so robert owen Dioch o galon am bo peth. Robert Owen, thank you very much indeed for your invaluable contribution to social reform and really to human life. If you wander around a little bit, the eyes follow you, so be careful what you're doing. <laughs> I'd like now to introduce uh, David Salaby, the, the Mayor of Newtown, and you'd like to have a few words. Well, first of all, Brian, thank you very much indeed. Um, Brian is well known in Newtown as the capture of, of the town in, in a very special way, and I know that Brian lives and feels both the town and, and those parts of it. And I, I love this picture. Um, I, I can't, sometimes those who are, have their portrait painted object, and um, Churchill is a more famous example of that. I suppose the advantage of being 250 years since Robert was born is he, he can't object. But okay. the opposite of that is we can celebrate. What we celebrate here, I guess, with this particular view, is a view of Newtown as it was at that time. Yep. Um, but still of today as well. Newtown is a, is a valley town, is a market town. We can always see the hills around, and I think that's 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 very important to, to us. And as as Robert is there, what I've said on a, another occasion, there was many occasions in a, a, a birthday weekend, as it were, that um, Robert's having um, this particular time, is that obviously we weren't here to see him there, but all we learn about what Newtown was like um, 250 years ago. It was desperate for someone like Robert to take a view. He was a mill owner like so many other mill owners, um, but he wasn't like so many mill owners because he recognised that the people who were working for him were not items on a, on a balance sheet. Mm -hmm. They were people in their own right. And in Newtown, Newtown had child labour at that time and he saw that. Newtown had extreme poverty at that time. This museum and the other museum we have in town, the Textile Museum, helps us recognise what life was like in those days, but also when we read about um, Robert's views, and I have to say of others around as well, what they, what they were talking about, one is that business of workers being people and families that needed support, but, but also that as we deal with change, and I think today I reflect that all of us are dealing with change in our lifetime, dealing with what the internet has given us, um, good and evil, what the machines that were being created around that time gave access to cheaper clothing and other materials, but they also, if we were used wrongly, meant that the people who were providing that, those cheaper materials suffered. And that's when I look into Robert's face, I'm pretty certain that those are the things that he was telling us. Exactly. And, they, and those ideas and those issues are as relevant today as they were 250 years ago. So mm. thank you, Brian, so for adding you. for you're adding to this. Very welcome. And this is where he's laid to rest. So is like bringing him home. Absolutely. That's what I had in there. Well reflected, yes, and we'll yeah. be at the memorial as well. Mm.
Thank you very much, Robert. Very thank well. you for your very, very kind gift. Well. And thank you for Robert Owen Museum as well. Well, good afternoon, Count Arbat, um, on this lovely afternoon in the town. The sun is shining, perhaps summer is here. But the most important reason, the reason we're here this afternoon, is to honour the 250th birthday of my friend up there, Mr. Robert Owen, who is also here on the Mayor's Chain, and has been ever since this chain was created for um, the Mayor of Newtown. Why can you do that? Now, I know children here know everything there is to know about Robert Owen. Why is it important now? Just one, just tell me one thing that's really important. Yeah, I'll put you on the phone. Education. Education. Because Robert Owen grew up in a time when he was a child here in 1771, when he was born. Um, at that time, children your age were working with the factories that they had up in town at that time. What he witnessed when he was, when he was born, as the town was developing, is that the people who were doing the work were not looked after the children were working on the machines and the machines were doing the dangerous. Their parents were working some days a week, some days six days a week, weren't, weren't able to spend time with the children that their parents had. All of those things were developing at the same time as factories were developing and new industries were developing and new machines were developing. So what he pointed out to all of us that we remember is that as technology develops, you think of all the new things that we're having to develop. Who would have thought when you, even a year ago, two years ago, you're going to do your school lessons and the computers without being next to each other? Now that's another piece of technology that we will all learn how we have to cope with. But Robert, Robert Owen said we should never forget the people who were giving their labour in the world. And that's something that is important for them and still important for us. That's why we still celebrate it, why I've got him on my chain, why we have his statue here, why we have his memorial in next to St Mary's Church, which I hope you get to as well. Those things are there because not only was he writing about the change, he was working with the change as well to make sure, even though he was treated fairly, in a way that with law now we try and protect workers today. And I know you spoke to the First Minister. Did he say things like that as well? Yeah, very similar. Very similar. Well, I'm, I'm pleased for me that I got it right. <laughs> Whether he's pleased that he got it from me as well, I don't know. But I'm really pleased. And that's an, an honour for your school, the honour for Newtown that you were able to talk to him. So thank you and congratulations on that. Thank you. Can I just say a few words from Court Mutuals Wales? We're incredibly pleased uh, to make contact with your head teacher, Mrs. Davies. Uh, she's so lively and fun to talk with. And she grasped us with both arms and said, yeah, we really want to go uh, with this idea that you would be interviewing the, the First Minister of Wales about Robert Owen. It nearly didn't happen um, because of the election, but we're very pleased um, that you were able to record that session uh, with the First uh, uh, Minister. And can I also yeah. thank the cooperative group who very kindly yeah. provided the, the wreath that we have here, which will eventually end up with uh, Rex in the Robert Owen Museum. So thank you very much for being with us and supporting uh, the 250th anniversary of Robert Owen's School. Thank you. Thank you. to say as well, welcome to guests from, uh, from uh, who have come a long way. Sorry, no. I was, I was yeah. concentrating on the important No, we feel very at home, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the museum. Is this your first visit or not? Is this your first No, visit? no, we've been, we've been here before. We've been to the museum. In fact, it, ten years ago, um, uh, we, were, we had a photograph taken outside the museum uh, with uh, John Rostakis, um, who'd come all the way from Canada to talk about cooperatives and social care. So we'll be putting that uh, picture up alongside this, this photograph on our website shortly. So thank you for coming. Thank, really you. thank you for organising as well, David. I know, I know from the number of emails that we both exchanged that it was um, these, what seems like a relatively simple process. And what you've achieved on the Friday in advance Oh, we got so used to Zoom, perhaps we wouldn't have been, but that was 
be. So that, that's really, really the, 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 the joke, in a way, about the, the cake is that, as you can see, I was having my hair cut for Robert Owen and by courtesy of my wife uh, on, uh, I think it was Tuesday. And uh, we were saying, well, what should we give the children? Uh, cake, chocolates. We were really puzzled. Of course, on a birthday, you have a cake. And so immediately, it was about four o'clock. I said to Malu, I said, uh, we, we better stop now. I've got to ring the bakery to see if we can get a cake somewhere. So this happened overnight. It was just a last minute inspiration that we had. So we hope you enjoy the cake. So and we're sharing with the other pupils at the school. I'm sure you will. I'll check out whether you share it with everyone. <laughs> 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 I'll see what happens. I won't, walk, I won't tell them anything.